Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull trend, what's going on with the stock market on daily time frame. Please subscribe and click like button to support the channel, I really appreciate it. Let's move to Vbull. Let's move to Vbull and if you want to learn more about Vbull setup just go to the, to the description, there is the link about Vbull setup training and other links about all my trainings. Let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages. White line is a MA200. Purple line is MA100. Blue line is MA50. Yellow line is MA20. Red line is MA10. Green line is MA5. Green dots bullish reversal. Red dots bearish reversal. MACD green line. Red line signal length, I can RSI, green line and red line. Awesome oscillator, red, bearish, green bars, bullish. That's all, let's start. And for swing trading, I'm using daily or four hours time frame for entry and exit position. And remember my style, I, do, I just follow the trend, I don't fight with the trend. And style is very simple, look at it. When bars below MA5, 10 and 20, it is bearish trend because the 20 and 10 and 5 downtrend, right? When bars moved, moved above MA5, you see bars above MA5, above green line, and green moves above yellow line, it is bullish trend. You see bars above yellow line, above green line, bullish trend until it did bearish crossover. Bearish crossover and now it's a bearish. What we see? MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. Let me maximize it. This. You see, my 5 did also bearish crossover over 20. It is a my 10 did bearish crossover. It is bearish trend. It is very bearish trend. But the last three bars is kind of positive. It's kind of trying to be flat. It's trying to hold the price action, but Signal is bearish, bearish reversal on dots, MACD bearish, Heikonachi, RSI, awesome oscillator, all indicators bearish, all indicators bearish. We'll see, maybe it will touch to 100 and will bounce from 100. So far it's still bearish even the price action is flat. Let's move to Q's, Q's daily time frame. Q's just closed the gap. This gap, it's April. It was a gap there between 357 and 360, approximately. The gap is filled. Gap is filled today. Now it is time for correction. Still, trend is bullish. Trend is still bullish. I mean, uh, awesome oscillator already red bearish. But all other indicators still bullish, still bullish, very bullish trend, no changes on daily time frame. Q is the strongest overbought index. Let's see on RSI. You see on RSI it's still overbought for a long period of time. It is an overbought state. It has bearish divergence. It's building multiple bearish divergences on all indicators. You see these lines, still bearish divergences, but uh, RSI is still an overbought state, 74 points level. It is very overbought. Let's move to 4 hours time frame for Q's. Bullish trend also. MACD was bearish, but still below signal line, but it's ready for bullish crossover. MACD is bullish crossover, RSI bullish. And MA5 did bullish crossover. All indicators bullish on 4 hours time frame. Also, 1 hour time frame, also it was bearish, but it did change to bullish. You see bars above MA5, it is bullish. All bars above, last bar above all moving averages, bullish. MACD bullish, bearish divergence, but it's bullish. RSI bearish divergence, but it's bullish, touched over bad territory. Also, oscillator bearish divergence. But it's bullish. Q's has multiple bearish divergences on multiple time frames, but trend is still bullish on all time frames for Q's. No changes. 
uh, but today you see Q's bullish and, and VXN bullish plus 8%. And definitely investors, they started to buy some protection. Q's bullish and volatility index for Q's. VXN for NASDAQ also bullish. It was positive, you see, ready for bullish crossover. It is negative for Q's. I believe, I still believe it will be some surprise from inflation. Maybe not from inflation. I believe it will be a surprise from Fed. Fed will raise the rate and the market will change direction. Be ready for it. Just to save your profit. Okay, let's move to SPX. SPX plus 1% today, right? At the same time also VIX plus 8.5%. Also, investors, they are buying protection. They are buying protection for S&P because, well, they are buying VIX. VIX today is 15. It was 13 yesterday and today is 15. But let's start from SP, uh, SPX first. Daily time frame bullish on all indicators are in overbought state. Bullish trend. Daily time frame 4 hours time frame for SP for S&P 500 bullish are in very overbought state 75 level. Very bullish on all indicators. 1 hour time frame also very bullish on all indicators are in very overbought state. Bullish trend on all indicators over bad state on one hour time frame. Now uh, let's move to VIX volatility X in a daily time frame, right? It was bearish, still bearish on all indicators, but RSI ready for bullish crossover, Osmos later ready for bullish. Green bar plus eight, eight and a half percent today. Very positive bullish run. It means, you see, it was 13 and a half just yesterday. 13 and a half. Today is 15. It did gap up. Maybe tomorrow it will go down, close the gap, and it will move up. A gap is not huge. It's kind of, yeah, 15 cents, but it's still gap. Okay. Bullish trend. You know, still bearish on, on VIX, but it's, it, it wants to have correction. Bullish run today, just bullish run. Dow Jones, Dow Jones daily, let's see. Dow Jones daily, bullish trend, MA5, green line did bullish crossover over all moving averages and just closed very far, very disconnected from 20, bullish trend. And definitely at 41.75, almost it wants to test this recent high. Recent high. It wants to test this recent high. It's a lot of resistance at this level. This, yeah, this recent high from the May 5, right? And at the same time, it was December 2022. Also a lot of resistance here around April 2022. It's getting to a very resistant level, very resistant level. But it's still bullish. Still bullish at the weekly time frame. On daily it is still bullish. It actually, it's bullish on all time frames. Bullish trend RSI is not overbought. It's around 64, but it, it is bullish. Let's check four hours time frame. Four hours time frame, still bullish trend, disconnected from 20 also. Last bar above all moving averages, above fire, we see it's a bullish. Uh, RSI just touched overbought territory around 70. Bullish trend in overbought state. One hour time frame, very bullish, bearish divergence on all indicators and RSI in the overbought state. That's what we have for Dow Jones. Also, VXD. That's what we should expect. We should expect Dow to go down. Because when VXD, the volatility index for Dow moved 15, 16% and it closed 16%, it means next 48 hours it will be sell-off 
will be negative for DAO. Could be tomorrow, could be after tomorrow. I, I did bullish crossover on RSI, you know, awesome oscillator bullish. It's it's not yeah, it's not bullish reversal signal yet, but it's trying to change direction. Definitely, it's very weird day because all indexes bullish and all volatility indexes bullish. It's unusual. It's unusual disconnected. It's divergent. Okay, uh, IWM. IWM daily time frame. IWM a week ago it was very oversold in very negative territory. A week later it is bullish in, in the positive territory. And it's on the other side it is yeah, bullish on all indicators bullish and disconnected from 20. Even 20 did bullish crossover, it is positive. Last bar disconnected from 20 definitely wants to have correction. Let's see four hours. Four hours. Four hours RSI was in very overbought state. Awesome oscillator changed from green to bear uh, to red, from bullish to bearish color. Uh, MA5 ready for bearish crossover. We'll see. It wants to have some correction, it wants to close this gap. And this gap below multiple gaps and I might want to bullish crossover it is positive it is bullish still bullish trend but it looks like it wants to have some correction for our time frame one hour time frame it was bearish it was bearish MACD still bearish RSI bearish Osmos letter bearish still bearish all indicators except MA5 MA5 is bullish crossover over 10 and 20 last bar about all moving averages it is positive signal but all other indicators bearish negative. Okay, let's move now to Apple. Apple, the main driver of the queues. Di daily time frame, Apple. It didn't make a new high today. Just green bar, very bullish. MACD bullish. RSI in overbought state, very overbought state on RSI. Also, later red bearish. Bullish trend, still bullish trend on all indicators. And bearish divergence still in place, nothing changed. Still bearish divergence, multiple bearish divergence. On daily time frame, 4 hours time frame. Apple still bullish, bearish divergence on MACD, on RSI, and also later. Bullish trend on all indicators. It has bearish, multiple bearish divergences. It definitely wants to have correction. On one hour time frame, also bullish trend on all indicators. Bearish, yeah. One hour time frame, bullish and overbought on the RSI on one hour time frame also. Apple bullish on all time frames. Tesla. Let's, let's start Tesla daily. Tesla very bullish, very overbought, last bar very disconnected from 20, you see so huge gap. From 200, yeah, Tesla also wants to test it 260. It's interesting. Tesla already tested 260 and closed the gap. It closed the gap around the 250, you see this gap? 257 and 62. That's what it wants to close. It wants to close this gap. 250s. Actually, Tesla didn't close. Q's closed. Q's closed around 260. Tesla still has two, two and a half dollars to go. It's actually not. It's, yeah, it's still below. Not yet. I, that's what I, I'm expecting. I'm expecting that Tesla can close this gap can fill that gap and after that it will be sell off. So far it is still bullish. So far it's still bullish and feel still still gap above the, this level. Ten dollars above this level. Still bullish but disconnected from 20 and a very 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 overbought on RSI. Very I think it's a record history record high 87. Very very overbought. For our time frame also bullish on RSI, it's very, very overbought. Same critical level, 88. 
It did touch 88. It's very overbought. Bullish trend at one hour time frame. Also bullish on all indicators. MACD did bearish crossover. Huge gap over here it left last night also. Uh, RSI, yeah, awesome letter already did bearish reversal. MACD bearish reversal. It because yesterday did bearish reversal, and my five did bearish reversal and did bullish crossover very quickly, very quickly. Just uh, this just kind of I believe it's kind of bull trap over here. Bull trap because it's a bearish divergence on so all indicators on one hour time frame. It definitely wants to have correction, but still positive, still bullish. Let's move to Baba, Baba Alibaba group. Let's start daily time frame. Baba is still negative because all moving averages at bars below 200, below 200. It is negative territory. MACD bullish, Heikonachi bullish, RSI, uh, RSI and not Heikonachi, also oscillator bullish. Uh, they are still in the bearish territory like MACD below zero line bearish territory, but signal is bullish. Territory is still bearish. For our time frame, for our time frame, it's kind of flat, it's still positive, still bullish, but MA5 ready for bearish crossover. But still in the bearish territory below 200. One hour time frame, it is already negative on MACD, on, the, on RSI, on OSMO, on all indicators, it's already did bearish reversal signal. It was kind of flat for several days, and it's kind of ready for bearish reversal, it's like spike up sell off all day spike up sell off spike up sell off uh bearish bearish kind of uh, price action is kind of flat for several days but all indicators already ready for bearish reversal for, for uh for alibaba for Ali, for baba alibaba group Let's move to NVIDIA, NVIDIA daily time frame. NVIDIA MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. MACD did bearish crossover. RSI, awesome oscillator, all indicators ready for bearish crossover. Still huge gap, 20% gap, it's still price action kind of flat. Daily time frame, 4 hours time frame. Yeah, all indicators bearish, but they did bearish reversal, but MA5 did bullish crossover. Still last bar above all moving averages, it is positive. Price action is kind of flat. I would consider this flat, and all in especially because all indicators already negative. All, all indicators already bearish. One hour time frame, it's the same flat price action around the May 20, around yellow line. You got it. Look at it. It is positive, it's above all moving averages, positive on all indicators, but it's flat. I would say it's just flat signal. It's no buyers, no sellers. Buyers and sellers, they're waiting for some event, for some trigger. That's all, let's do, let's, let's do a conclusion. Like I mentioned already, dollar wants to bounce all volatility indexes they gave us green line to the green light today it means investors they are buying protection they 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 know something they are expecting market to have correction i believe fed will do surprise fed will raise rate quarter percent that's what market is not ex doesn't expect any raise and that will be a trigger for market to have some correction how large correction? I don't know. I don't. I don't do prediction. I just follow the market. Like I said, it's easy. Just follow the market until market change direction. Like views, just follow until bars above all above my five, ten, and twenty. When bar move my below twenty, it is twenty. It is fully bearish confirmed trend. So far, it is still bullish because bars above all moving all moving averages. No changes bullish trend that's all that's all from my side let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only and remember for educational purposes we, we are using paper trading account please read it 
Thank you for watching Simple Training Style video. I do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel and click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all their efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.